Hey, you're wasting your time. The mystery page is gone. Whatever my mother wrote on it died with her a long time ago. Oh my God. You're green. Hello, Victoria. Long time no see. Marie Manning was my mother. Not yours. And if we could go back in time and ask her, she'd tell you. Wait a minute here. Are you? Irene Manning. You're, uh, dead? I don't understand this at all. The last time I saw you, you left Tina in my care, and you told me that you had cancer and you were dying. Except I wasn't. I wanted to give my daughter a better life and to reunite two sisters who knew nothing about each other. And now, two brothers have been reunited as well. My sons. You're my mother? My mother, apparently. You want to explain where you materialized from? Yeah, well, look, we'll, we'll get into all that later. Right now, the important thing is she's in police custody, and um, we've made arrangements for her to come here and tell you all the truth. Something that we're all rather anxious to hear. Well, if you have my diary, then you already know. We know nothing. That the page where you explain what happened to your second son with Victor is missing. There's... Yes, I gave birth to two babies. Identical twin boys. So it's true? They're twins? The male heirs of Victor Lord. But... but, but wait, wait, wait. Do you want to explain this? When I told Victor that I was pregnant again, I thought he'd be happy. Needless to say, he was not. In fact, he told me he wanted nothing more to do with me, cut me off without a dime. So I gave birth alone. That's when I discovered that I'd been carrying twins. I could barely afford to take care of one child, never mind two. So I gave one of my baby boys to Peter to raise, the one I'd named Todd. I remember. Yeah, well, so do I. It, it, hang on a minute, OK? Well, what happened to the other one? Ah, the other one. He was quiet, different what some might call uh, special. I raised him myself, named him Victor. Victor Lord Jr. So is this the first time that you have been together with your twin sons since they were born? No, actually. Not the first time at all. Backup units are here. We've got men posted outside. Good. Hey, thanks for your help on this one, man. You did good. Look, why don't you, uh, why don't you head on home? I got it from here. Thanks. This is, uh, this is absolutely ridiculous. I, I have no idea what this woman is talking about. I have never laid eyes on her before in my life. And I just met this guy. Please, boys, be patient. Everything will be explained. By all means, explain. I was alone with Victor Jr. No money, no security. So I turned to desperate measures. I met a man who worked for the CIA, and he got me involved. Got you involved in the CIA? I climbed the ladder quickly. But more importantly, I was finally able to provide for my son, who wasn't able to take care of himself. Well, like I said, I have never seen you before, so obviously I'm the one that you gave away, and, and this is the one you raised, right? No, I was raised by Peter Manning, and I remember every second. Irene, both of these fellas insist they're Todd Manning. Both of them seem to be able to back up that claim. Do you want to explain that? Be patient, Victoria. I'm getting to it. I just got the phone with the lab. The second DNA test confirms the first DNA test. She's telling the truth. You are twins. But how is it that we have the same memories? I must admit that I would feel more comfortable speaking openly without the lieutenant present. 
Is that all right, John? Yeah. Yeah, that's more than all right. Um, I'll give you a few minutes if uh, you can tell me the story down at the station. I appreciate it. I'll be right outside. The cuffs stay on. Things changed over the years. What the agency was offering was no longer enough. So I turned to special activities. You mean illegal activities? During this time, I kept close tabs on Todd's life from afar. Obviously, Victor did also. You can imagine my surprise when I learned that he had named Todd in his will and left him somewhere close to $30 million. Anyone else would have come forward then, made it known that there was another son to share the inheritance. But to come forward meant explaining where I had been and what I had been doing. And I was not willing to jeopardize what I had built. But I did want my son, Victor, to get what was rightfully his and more. So that's when I realized that there was another way Todd could be useful to me. My people approached Todd. They told him how he could serve his country. You were behind that? Behind what? These people said it was some kind of business deal. And that I'd be doing my patriotic duty by funding anti-terrorism. Now that certainly was me. That was me. And uh, I said no. I said no. I, I figured out where the money was oh, going. Bro. That happened to me. Some crazy rogue organization. Okay, what then? Todd refused to be part of our operation. He even threatened to expose us. As a result, he had to be eliminated. So, my people contacted a legitimate CIA agent and told them that Todd was an enemy of the state. A legitimate CIA agent? Tomas Delgado. Right, so he did try to kill me. That would prove that I'm me, right? Irene! There's more. You ordered your own son killed? I had long since stopped thinking of Todd as my son. As I said, I kept watch. And I had seen what kind of man he had become. Ultimately, it didn't matter. By the time Tomas Delgado got to him, someone had beat him to the punch. Quite literally. He found Todd beaten, bloody, and left for dead. That was Mitch Lawrence. Yes. I was informed of the situation, and it gave me a brilliant idea. Instead of having Todd killed, I arranged to have him brought to me. And for the first time since I had given my son to Peter, all three of us were together. Me and my sons. Do either one of you remember being taken from Father's Crypt and brought to her? No. No. I'm not surprised. Todd was in no condition to understand what was happening. And Victor, well, as I said, he was special. Susceptible. Tell me about your children. I have a daughter. Her name is Stone. I have a daughter. Her name is Star. Victor took on Todd's memories in preparation. Preparation for what? For becoming Todd. And you're saying... You're saying that you, you wanted to turn this guy into me. Is that right? No, I think it's the other way around. Why don't we let her finish? Thank you, Victoria. So, I continued with Victor's education. I had a wife. Her name is Blair. I had a wife. Her name is Blair. Blair is Star's mother. 
I had another wife, her name is Taya. I paid her five million dollars to marry her so that I could have custody of Star. Victor proved to be a quick study. Before long, he had learned everything there was to know about Todd Manning. So much so that everyone he knew thought he was Todd Manning. And in time, he would believe it too. Eventually, I successfully transferred all of my son Todd's memories to my son, Victor. Now, they were truly identical. Except for one thing. Victor, you have been with me every day of your life. And I cherish that bond. But now that bond has to be broken. For good. I'm so sorry. But this has to be perfect. Right down to the last detail. Forgive me, my son. all that trouble to make us look identical why do we have different faces which one of these men is Victor which one is Todd <laughs>